Hey guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. It is an interesting day. We're here to do chores and check on our animals, um, but Jeff was here last night and did something with the animals, so we're gonna go see how it's going. So come along and check it out. So we just came up to the property. We're actually entering in through pasture five and they've been here about two and a half weeks on this pasture. Um, it had not been actually like pastured grasses or anything. So we're dealing with weeds and saplings. And with all of that, you can see how much they have really just taken everything down. And we expected them to do that. It's not really a shock to us. What was, say, shocking is they never really went up and ate any of the hay we gave them. They kept just wanting to eat all the forage. We want to make sure that they have good nutrition, especially as these moms are feeding out their new babies. We let them out of five, and Jeff set it up in the compound. So we left the gate open here to five so they could come back down for water. So I'm going out through the gate that they should come down for water. So there's the gate. Let's go ahead and see where the animals are, if we can find them, where the calves, do we still have 15 calves? Did we have any new calves? And can we do our chores? There are a lot of questions. All right, I'm not sure how to maneuver this alleyway. <laughs> it's kind of a one-way street, but I think she's coming down for the water. Yeah, she's like, nope. It's okay, girl. Yep, that's a good space. Can you go get some water? <laughs> Shouldn't stick around. This is the first spot we figured they would take down. And you can tell they've been here. There used to be a lot more grass. Um, so they've been eating. We saw a little bit of fence damage over with the, um, our finishing herd. So we'll have to go check that out and see what we have to do that way. I don't see the main herd at all. My guess is that they're in the two and a half acres because that had so much grass in it. So there's still grass here. They have not cleared it all out. This used to be way longer. I can see the ladder it used to be hidden because you know, the kids didn't clean up. There's seven out there. And here's some more grass up here, but I think I found the herd. There they are. Look at all of them in there. So they didn't, they didn't just hang out at the compound. It looks like the two and a half acres, again, that has probably the best grass of what's open to them right now. So they went in there and they're all the way down there. Um, the hardest part now is making sure we have all the babies and if anybody else had a baby. Like, how do you even tell? And count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count 19 adults, but that means somebody could just be sitting somewhere I can't see him. And number 20, we drove past because she went to get some water. Let's see if we can hunt down the ones we know we're waiting on to have a baby. So, number 30 and number 15, still no calves. All right, so we're looking for number 39, Debbie, and number nine, Nadine. I did not bring Lorna with me right now. She's really good at telling them from far away with their horns. So we're just gonna look for some more moms that don't seem to have babies. The hardest part about coming through a pasture like this is the grass is tall and the babies lay down and you just can't see them, they're gone. So we have to make sure we're careful that if there is a baby that it wakes up and jumps out of the way <laughs> because when they're sleeping they just might not but the moms are pretty good and they'll take care of them but you just have to be careful so we're just looking for a couple ladies we're gonna see if we can find them I think I think that's Debbie right over there we're just gonna go look at Debbie real fast and then that means I've seen all the moms who have not had their baby um, so that is all accounted for so today I did not see a new calf all right they're eating good grass they're all together even and we found them and we're not missing any 
new caps. So all is good. We still have to go do chores. I was actually concerned if they're all over the compound, how it might go getting everything set up for chores, but I think that's gonna be just fine. So we're gonna go get that done, check on the fencing, make sure we don't have any big damage from any of these animals, which we might have some. So we're gonna go check that out. While we let out this herd, there's a few concerns of things they might do or find. And one of the concerns was our hay that we're like, hey, we really don't want them coming up and eating all the hay. And so we thought about it and I'm like, well, we already have hay out for them and they're not even eating it. If we let them into the compound, they're gonna find all that grass. And so I didn't even think about it other than that. And generally this is like shaded and cement and why would they come in here? So I will say overall the hay looks great. They left it alone, except they did get one alfalfa bale and nibbled on that hay. I don't know how long they hung out doing that because honestly, there was so much other grass. So, so far that's the one food casualty. We're gonna fill up our feed for the younger animals and they didn't mess with any of our barrels. So that's good. Everything else over here looks pretty normal. Just a fun surprise. All right, the herd's on the move. You're okay. I think they're probably gonna go for a walk and go find the water. So I think now they're gonna come around this long way around. Let's see if we can get a little closer and not scare them. We're ready to go feed the yearlings and two-year-olds their food. And our chores today, we saw that our pigs had tipped their water off their little pallets. They had two pallets together. I had taken one out, but now they're all separated. Where's the water? I thought it was just right there. Well, the water is down there. I'll have to go get it and bring it back up here, see what they did to whatever our ratchet system was, and rehook it up. They're probably pretty thirsty pigs. pigs are pretty thirsty. Gave them a little bit of water while our blue barrel is filling up. I just need to go re-secure that again and I think we'll be good to go. Sure drank that fast. It's a hot day. It's a hot day today. Back up in the 80s. It's like it's finally spring for reals. There you go. There you go. We're in our fishing herd group in the frat house. It looks like we've got a whole section that needs some staples. So Lorna, you gonna go get those? Yeah. All right, so Lorna's gonna go get some staples and a hammer. And that would help this line for sure. Um, it looks like this line here has gotten, I mean, obviously it's off the T-post here. The T-clips broke. There's some fur. So I think these guys probably were excited when all the ladies, their moms, were coming down the alley when we let them out. So we've got a little bit of fence fixing. I believe this is our loosest line to tighten up. Let's fix it up and get it all taken care of. I just finished clipping up this line after I tightened it. Got a nice fence fixer on it. Again, we still have kind of loose lines. Um, but I feel like once we get these guys stapled up, that'll help. So Mari's working on stapling. I may grab another hammer so we get this done. Looks like there's staples there, staples here, staples everywhere. And here are all the frat boys, all of our finishers. Hi guys. They're curious about what we're doing over here. We're gonna try and get one last count, make sure everybody's here before we head out for the day. There's a lot down there that I can't see. I think we're gonna have to drive behind them and scare them all. Where are you? Oh, 99? Yeah. yeah, no baby. And then Tracy? Yeah. No baby. Right, so one, two, three, the non-baby mom is hanging out together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, hi ladies. How's your babies doing? All right, ladies, I hope you have a great day. I hope you take lots of trips over to get some water. We'll come back and see you tomorrow, okay? I feel like the day's been super successful, um, but everything's working really well. Our animals are enjoying the green grass over here in the two and a half acres. So we'll see how long it lasts and keep them moving. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Oh.